off your JP. My neck, my back, so much. My neck, my back, my back, my back. My neck, my back, so much. Said, lesson learned. You ain't gotta worry about stealing this shit no more. <laughs> somebody do some chocolate covered um apple donuts so i cut my apples and did my little hole so all i'm gonna do is take and just dip it in the chocolate fully saturate it and bring your pan close to you bam and we just gonna keep doing all of them like this. Making sure you fully coat it. that were in there too but mainly this is just almonds you can use whatever you want to use I want to use this all up yes okay and then I got these kiwis over here so we gonna melt some more chocolate and i'm gonna do these four kiwis i cut up some fruit and i saved some kiwis since i was doing chocolate and yeah we're just gonna eat this one mm. oh that's good and this time around i use the randall's brand safeway brand bittersweet chocolate chunks and this tastes so good. And I see why. Because it's 70 percent cocoa, whatever that is, that chocolate is. So I can see the walls of the sea of bacon. If you can see my thoughts, you will see a face. Safe in my rental, back in the truck back then. We didn't give a fuck back then. I
start of nothing I had no chance to prepare I couldn't see you coming The start of nothing Ooh, I could hate you now It's quite alright to hate me now But we both know the deep down The feeling's still deep down It's good Yeah. Are we 
number one. Why are you lose? That's number one. <laughs> so we're gonna have to tighten this number two. But number three. I really have been having a full circle moment. Like, so I finally found me the apartment I wanna move into. I'm so excited. It's official. I got my little money order so I can go pay my stuff. I'm so excited because this move has been in the making for over a year, that's for sure. And finally, and it's so crazy how God worked because number one, when I walked into the building, the girl who ended up helping me, finally I'm just like, you seem just so familiar to me. And I'm like, the only reason why I even sat down with you is because you seem so familiar. And I'm like, okay, God, you're telling me I can trust her type of thing. Why did I tour another apartment with her like some months back and she's working at this apartment? Ain't God crazy. And so then also I was coming on the camera because I want to talk about full circleness. So like this apartment in itself is already a full circle moment for me because a hundred years ago in my 20s with one of my exes I toured this apartment with him not this specific apartment but one of their like just their regular basic one bedrooms and even back then I remember now that they were nice because I was like you should really get this apartment like I remember the price point was good everything and I know for him why he didn't even get it I don't even know if he got it or not but I do know like it was like a too good to be true type of thing and he was just uneasy and unsure about it and I got it and it's just so crazy how a I have this full circle moment where I was like I wanted him to get this and then not even knowing what this place entails and when I tell you God God looked out for me God looked out for me because I get to number one say I live in a townhome because that's what they call me. but not only that <laughs> I get to live in a law style apartment home whatever you want to call it like I'm finally about to be living my loft home dream like I always thought it would be in downtown loft apartment but it's a galleria loft apartment and I'm so excited and so just all these full circle moments the girl the apartment and not even that one time like there was just like something where I'm just like it's here I'm gonna be moving soon we'll be in the home soon and one thing I'm just like but I never got to have my loft I'm getting my loft Ooh. so I don't want to be too 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 excited because I don't want to jinx myself but with the way I've been editing lately I ain't even gonna lie hopefully by the time this video is out I will be had moved into my new place. So, yay! And then also I wanted to come on camera because I am so mad but so proud of myself because um I was editing a video last night and like although I can make it three videos, I'm really mad really upset that I really can't complete my video because I can't stay too long of a video and then I don't know if I would be able to just take and save them separately which I'm gonna see if I can do that or not but I want to see if I can take and save them separately and then once it's out I uh, download it on the cloud go to one of the editing apps on the computer and save them together and see if it would save like that and see what I get with that but I really do not want to do a part two a continuation like I don't want to do none of that and yeah I just wanted to come on camera to state that because I don't know I just feel like Although it's okay, I know it's okay, I just feel like for 
this. I just feel like it's not professional to have a part two, but I know it's okay to be like, to be continued in the next vlog type of thing. And as I'm talking, I'm just gonna have to figure that out like that because like literally, do I really <laughs> wanna go on the computer and get annoyed, annoyed with it possibly just being a little decay like it's been being. So I know I just answered my question, what I will do. Hopefully I can make it something cute because yeah. Um, but on the right side of that, I wasn't just, even though talking it out real quick really did help me like decide really what I should do. Um, I also wanted to come on the camera where sometimes things like that happen when there's things in a video that you just don't need to put in and I'm about to reference Peyton Charles because I know she's had these issues where she's trying to save a video or whatever whatever and she ends up taking out stuff that she was like you know what probably didn't need to be in there anyway type of stuff so forth so forth we're happy we're good blah 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 and like, come on now, you see I'm waiting on you and you want a pussyfoot, the fuck? Like the fuck? Anyways, like, even as you're like editing your video or you're looking and listening, you're like, do you really want this or do you like this? And it's like, on the bright side, I did end up taking out me ranting about something and it's not, like it wasn't important because it was a very valid rant where like at the end of the day it's probably just a growth moment I just needed for myself and only share for myself and that's cool that's fine like as I was editing I was already just like mm, I don't really care for this mm, I don't really care for this like I didn't even care for it so even in the midst of me trying to make room for the vlog like all of that shit I was like oh well all of this shit can go like no questions asked type of shit so yeah nice little seven minute ranty rant of what's been going on I feel like I ain't been on the camera really really and then it's 12 30 it's early go home hopefully I'm gonna start on this wig I'm gonna we're gonna start on this wig because I want to get it out the way before I start moving and then my next step in moving is getting in a storage unit and then once I get my storage unit it's only a popping I ain't gonna lie like I'm about to be moving out of my apartment sooner than expected but in the long run it's gonna be beneficial because it gives me two months to literally get my shit together and move it as slowly move it as fast as I want to move out of my so where do you want me to go, nigga? Because I can't go nowhere. Where you want me to go, bitch? Because I can't go nowhere. Why you looking like I'm the problem, bitch? So, yeah, I'm about to drive because, as you can see, niggas don't know how to drive. And I'm not talking about nigga niggas. I'm talking about just whoever these people are driving. You a nigga at this point because that's how you act. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I want to kind of like backtrack and talk about what I was talking about in the previous clip because there's one more full circle just type of thing that went on during that whole thing. So the girl who I sat down with and we had all this full circle energy, the one thing I wanted to highlight is energy. The reason why all of that full circle connection connected was because of her, because and her talking about herself, she was like, and cause like, I feel like I asked her like, how is this area basically? And she ended up saying that she lived down the block, basically from like an actual block too. So she did basically say she, had no, she used to live down the block from said apartments that I'm living into now. So number one, one of my doubts right there is, you know, how is this like, how is it living here at night? Da, 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 da. So I got to ask my question and in the midst of her being like, yeah, I used to live down there or whatever, whatever. And she was like, yeah, this job right here is a full circle moment for me because when she was, you know, when you're looking and deciding and stuff and stuff, she was just, 
she she realized where the place was located and where she used to live and she's just like yeah i have to take this job and i was like somewhere along the line i even told her i was like you literally me and you all oh, when i turned in the money order i was just like yeah you literally you were sent here for me you were sent here for a reason like you were meant to be here type of thing and it's just like energy don't lie because her energy a full circle moment came and she was like i just been having nothing but full circle moments all this time and i was like you the connection to me and my full circle moment just like a while back when um that dude he got that deja vu and he was like wow this is so weird i've never got deja vu like this before and i was like that's because you're meant to have your deja vu is meant for me like that's the only reason why you have this deja vu so like that's that that she in a sense was my angel she like literally when i tell you her angels were working for her on what she needed and my angels were working with me for what i needed and literally our angels worked together for us to connect type of thing and it's just so crazy to just be that so in tune with yourself where you're like damn like literally our ancestors wanted to meet wanted us to meet and i feel like i said that i'm like our ancestors really wanted us to meet and like even in the office <laughs> There was a moment where I kind of like I loud talk and I took up for her because you know how like other relation relation races act towards darker skinned women and I know she may be black but 100% she could also be Middle Eastern the same ethnicity that this man was and like you're not that important she's right like literally you probably can't even get into the apartment and you're trying to act like you that important so I got what she was saying and she had a moment where she was just like like he didn't give a fuck that these women were already working doing their job he expected when he was ready and he got his information for those women in the office to just be at his beck and call and she was just like just all she kept telling them was just give him a second and even in the midst of me observing this ignorant and i'm like and she's saying what she's saying i'm like yeah and he all coughing all over this place like that and like even in a sense like she got her confirmation because she had her little smile like mm -hmm, get him girl because she can't say that shit, but i can say that shit. i'm gonna let you know because i feel that energy i see that energy so it's just like our angels literally did what they had to do they stopped us from doing what we had to do to connect back as one full circle moment type of thing and I know it was true because even back when I went to the beach and I had the improper to impromptu beach day with my friend same thing it was stuff blocking her from leaving and heading to the beach and I don't know what was going on about my day but there was stuff about my day that was blocking and slowing me down and then we're just like this is meant to be we were supposed to be to be because I know I wanted to go to the beach and I'm like okay God but what I'm supposed to be doing obviously it's time for me to go to the beach like you just gave me a ride so yeah just I just wanted to like something in me was just like there was something else about that full circle moment so yeah in the midst of it not just being a full circle full moment for me it was a full circle moment for her and she was be able to get and just release and whatever it is that she's going through like we were able to help each other and yeah come on ancestors and real quick since we're on the subject of ancestors i had um a home client today and she told me where her ethnicity was and my grandfather's side has german and the thing about german is german's facial feature the nose specifically is very distinct very prominent and 100 percent my grandpa got that and i feel like i got that nose oh i just connected my nose because i used to always hate my nose i don't hate my nose no more but i got the german nose too so in the sense of talking about ancestry i also like was able to connect my white ancestry in a sense and like I told the client like people don't realize that different races have different like behaviors that they specifically do and it's just like 
a lot of times when I have like clients specifically at the dry bar, I'm just like, oh, that's my mama, that's my sister. And I'm just able to point out like, oh my God, that's my white ancestry type of thing. And she was just like a confirmation of like, I know my ancestry to know like, okay, this is my white side. This is how my white people act. And this is how my black people act. Like literally I'm able to differentiate like my black side and my white side or whatever you want to call it. And the thing about that is, although I am both of these shits in the middle, I am straight up um, Native American. <laughs> I drew a blank because I, I always want to make sure I say the correct terminology. I don't know why Native American is something that I have a hard time saying, but I don't want to say Indian because I don't want to offend anybody. But that's just how, you know, my generation grew up is just saying Indian. But 100%, I do have Native American in my bloodline, depriving from my grandfather. And so, although I have these, at the end of the day, what makes me this is my Native American ancestry. Yeah, it's that earth in the VIP line with the V-turn and the East Lorraine. She's driving Nissan and she in a P-Mart. 